Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I've got a great story to cover with you guys and I'm gonna be linking it in the description below. So take a look at it. We're gonna briefly go over it. But look, um, the title of the article is Shocking Chart Shows That Most Workers Now Make More on Unemployment Than From Their Jobs. Now, we have been covering the supply chain breakdown, and I think it's very, very important that we get this word out. So please, guys, uh, do me a huge favor and, and, and family and friends a favor and just share this video on Facebook. Share it anywhere you can. And it, it's because, honestly, if we don't warn people now that as this breakdown gets worse, and it's going to get worse, I, I'm, I apologize um, if it bursts some people's bubbles, but the fact of the matter is if you see the train coming and you're on the tracks, all you have to do is get off the tracks and let the train go by. But there's a lot of fools that just let the train hit them. And um, we've been watching the supply uh, chain breakdown for now a few months. I've been reporting on it. And there are a lot of people that are really interested in learning not only what's going on, but why. Now, we've in recent videos, we've been talking about how um, a couple of these breakdowns happen sort of naturally or by emergencies. Like in the chlorine situation, um, it's because of a, a fire at a large plant, a manufacturing plant. Or in the uh, case of gasoline, getting it to and from the refineries to the gasoline stations, it's because there are companies that have semi-trucks sitting in the parking lot because they don't have enough qualified employees drivers to drive them now the facts are when this whole thing started a year ago there were a lot of people that just threw in the towel and said look you know what the heck with this i'm too close to retirement this ain't worth it being out in the workforce let's sell the house quit the job move into retirement a little earlier than planned and let's get out of the state wherever the state we are and we'll go somewhere cheaper then there's also people that are saying like this story is going to cover guys that hey i could go out and uh or just sit back right now and claim unemployment and make more money than in certain situations you know and uh as these companies are facing um trying to get employees they're going to have to do two things they're either going to have to curtail um uh their operations or they're going to have to raise the the amount that they pay people and that's just going to lead to more and more inflation okay we're already point past the point of no return so let's figure out what we can do and prepare ahead of time and how you prepare is you go hey i normally eat food why don't i buy a little extra food right now because it ain't getting any better anytime soon Hey, you know what? I've got some investments. Why don't I diversify into inflation hedges like gold, silver, and Bitcoin? You know, that's honestly, that's what the rich people are doing. You know, you watch Elon Musk, Mark Cuban, um, all of these people are getting into these inflation hedges. So why not just be like them? You know, that's a novel idea. So here we go, guys. It says, as a reminder, back in 2012, we showed that it was increasingly lucrative in the form of actual disposable income to do the bare minimum, receive minimum wage, and collect various welfare entitlements than to work hard and aspire to a higher socioeconomic status. It says the single mom is better off earning gross income of $29,000 with $57,000 in net income and benefits than it is to earn gross income of $69,000 with net income and benefits of 57 grand and here's the chart right here that shows it and but we're going to just gloss over that i want you guys to look at this article when you can and we're going to come down here it says doo -doo -doo. all right it says uh I want to I want to dig through this. I don't I don't want to read a bunch of stuff that you guys don't understand. Um, n no offense, but it's just it's hard when you're you're listening and I'm going. It says this was coming from a, a Democrat today that and and just don't get me wrong, guys. I don't care if you're on Democrat, Republican, and whatever side. Everyone is blaming other people. Just you know they don't want to get down to the root of the problem. But this is something that's very interesting. And this came from Steve Ratner, okay, uh, best known as the counselor to the Secretary of the Treasury leading the Obama administration and the man who single-handedly overturned bankruptcy law in the Chapter 11 case of General Motors, okay? So this isn't just somebody. Who today tweeted that, and I quote, with enhanced benefits, workers, take Pennsylvania for example, can now make more on unemployment than they did at their jobs. Now coming from a Democrat, this was the most damning assessment of Biden's catastrophic fiscal policy to date. But what was even more shocking in the chart that Ratner tweeted, similar to our chart in 2012, it shows that as of this moment, tens of millions of U.S. workers, again, 
tens of millions of U.S. workers in the jobs ranging from dishwasher to hotel clerk to preschool teacher to anyone on minimum wage can now earn more from unemployment than their regular job. Now, I want to show you this chart and why I think it's important. So first off, this is the median pre-tax uh, wages assuming a 40-hour work week. So over here, just the minimum wage, and this is in Pennsylvania where the minimum wage is $7.25. When you take into account all of the benefits um, that are added up for a 40-hour work week for unemployment right now, that person that was making $7.25 is now making $11.23. So I want you to understand that when we're talking about McDonald's or restaurants that normally pay their employees minimum wage, even if you get tips or not, you can't just turn around now and go, okay, instead of $7.25, we'll pay you $11.50. That's not enough to get them off the, off the couch. And what the, the big question is, what is the right amount? Because now, let's say you go to $15 an hour, you say, okay, fine, we'll beat your unemployment. Excuse me, now you sit back and you go, you look at these employees that are sitting back on unemployment and they go, well, is it worth it for me to leave my couch right now for the next couple months, let's say, just the next couple months and get off my couch to go work for $15 an hour where I could actually sit home, get the 1123, clean up my home, sort of clean up my life, maybe start working out, or hey, I could go work for cash on the side. Now, I'm not saying this is going to be long lived. As a matter of fact, I think it's going to be pretty short lived because I think we're going to, we're heading into some very serious, serious economic times. And I'm grateful that you guys are here learning about these things. And please, again, share this on Facebook, hit the like button to get the algorithms going fired up because we want wealthier people in the middle class, the lower income to middle class range. We need that to have a successful country. Now, looking at this, this is the most in impressive one. And this is what scares me. Light truck drivers right now are very vital to our economy because light truck drivers, and we're talking about cab over Isuzu trucks or similar to um, a, a U-Haul size truck. Those are the delivery mechanisms that small and medium sized businesses in our country live on. They are the lifeblood of our country's small to medium enterprises, okay? What that means is if they can't find people to deliver their goods, they can't sell their goods. This is very, very serious. And even if, let's say, this just lasted another eight weeks, the damage that is being inflicted on a daily basis right now is incredible. So I want people to think like that. Now, I'm not going to leave you empty-handed because you're going, well, what do I do now with this kind of information? Well, first, what you need to do is keep reading, keep studying what's going on. You need the facts. Secondly, you need to honestly assess where you are in life. And if you believe that we are headed towards more of a downturn economically, then you need to do something about it. Food is rising and it is going to get worse. Inflation is going to get worse. Um, we're seeing all kinds of little uh, bubbles starting to pop off. So why wouldn't you go, well, I shave every day and I use a disposable razor. So why wouldn't I just buy an extra few months worth of razors? Or, hey, I got to eat. And you know what? I like three bean salad and I can make that out of canned beans. Why wouldn't I go buy a 90 day supply of beans just in case, right? Just in case. And guess what? If you're wrong, if I'm wrong, you'll still eat it and you'll still shave. But the facts are people are doing, they're not thinking, they've got their heads in you know where, and they're not preparing. And the thing is, is once they all figured out and rush to the store, they're gonna destroy the supply chain. It's better that you guys go and share these uh, videos with your friends and family so that they can actually put a little bit, now all you gotta do is share it on Facebook. It's not like you're telling them what to do. You're just sharing it, letting people figure it out. And what they do is now they go down to the store and they buy a little bit more and it allows the supply chain to repair itself. It allows the store to go, oh, we sold a little extra toilet paper this month or a little extra beans. Hey, let's add a little that much more to our order rather than all of a sudden in one day it all gets taken and then the people the next day come and they panic and now they're waiting outside for the next truck and then it just gets worse and worse and worse. Guys, this is identical to traffic. When traffic is all moving in one whack, one speed and all of a sudden some idiot in the fr on the slow lane decides to pull out in the front fast lane and, uh, and, and starts backing cars up, what happens is a couple miles back, 
the cars are actually stopped because it's a chain reaction and it's the amount of time that each person had to react which actually makes the wave go from a ripple to a massive wave to a flood. So we need to start looking at the supply chain like a traffic pattern. All right, guys, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please hit the likes, uh, the thumbs up button and share the video. It's doing, uh, you guys are crushing it and I appreciate this group. I have the smartest and best subscribers on YouTube. With that being said, guys, the Economic Ninja is out.